Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatful Boyfriend. We're going to have for like the first day on the job in the cafe. Good morning, Miss Harry. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. Another really beautiful thing involving a cafe is that that manga that I read. Um, after being turned on to it by OX Fu, um, Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, or whatever it's called, the one where about the, the, the robot girl, that is like the most, like, that's actually amazing. It's one of the most amazing pieces of work I've ever come into contact with in my entire life. It's just so beautiful. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. <laughs> Maybe you could show me what it's like in back? Come now, it's far too plain for young ladies such as yourself. Uh -huh. Actually, compared to my uh, cave, because I live in an enormous hole bored into the side of a boulder. I, excuse me? Oh, you, this loser. Um, I saw the flyer and to say- Back off, jerk. This one's mine. Ryota? Hello, Ryota. Well, what are you doing here? This music's really nice, I really like it. A friend of yours, Miss Harry. Oh yes, this is Ryota. Hello, Ryota. You, you came here for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. You already got a job, but if you already got the position, then that's that. This is not your job. Um, Mr. Rushihara, could you use two people? Could you get hit on the head with two coconuts? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Fuck Ryota, I'm gonna take the job myself. I think this is the first time I've actually done this. Um, um, I'm sorry, Ryota, but I really want to do this. Plus, you already have a job, you greedy bastard. Don't worry about it, Harry. I've got a couple more places to check. Plus, we've seen your storyline. Your mom's gonna die anyway, regardless of whether I give you the job or not. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. What a weird voice. His just his, his intonation is really bizarre. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Harry. I will, because you won't be here. Burn. <laughs> Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. I'm gonna show that loser that I'm the best vitality girl in town. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Ooh. Y'all get a new girl, a human? A budgerigar steps in the door. <laughs> budgerigar! <laughs> the first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. Yeah, we don't want no. Yeah, see, we don't want no riffraff like you in here. Some, some There's two honkies out there looking for dry white toast and four fried chicken. <laughs> um, welcome, you idiot. Would you like a bath, you stink, stinky lump of shit? Or a meal, you fat ass? Or maybe you would like Mr. What? <laughs> I bet you had to whore like rabbits just to make ends meet. I'll take Ken's Avaro. Hey, wait just a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. Oh, this is Rabu, Miss Harry, a regular customer. Oh, it looks like we're not going to be able to seduce Kenzaburo and Urushihara, the dignified parakeet after all. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 200... That's that guy. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 times. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? No, he's a cock addict. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what this game does to me. This game just completely removes my filter. I don't like... Absolutely completely removes my filter. Hey, what was up that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. What? I don't understand that line. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not like an, an advanced enough Japan Nipponophile to be able to understand that one. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Is this going to be the end of the storyline? You lost me on the road, Tyler. <laughs> well, that's how it is. 
have a right to cheat my private property. You all remember that now? A new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. With pleasure. With pleasure. The evolution of the vulture. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of cafe. Cafe. Coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Shh. 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 I stayed out on the town for too long, and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about, seeing as apparently there are no other ones. Who's this? Hey, human. Oh my god, what? Who are all these birds all of a sudden? What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to St. Pigeonation, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you makes a lot of people who great it's bebop and rocksteady and gnarly bulk and skull. She's a rich girl and she's gone too far. Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. Gah! Darn it, I forgot my rape whistle and I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd at 80% of the time, but rock doves just look all the same, especially when they have the same haircut. Do you have any business with me? If not, go away. That's my purse. I don't know you. They don't even have testicles to kick them in. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. C -c cash They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little bitch. They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. We're bigger than them. Just step on them or something. Yeah, we can win this. Just stand on them. We can win this. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Todd. <gasps> huh? The work of a moment. Somebody flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Oh! <gasps> Butch lesbian friend Sparrow. A Sammy? That was close, Harry. Are you sure you should be out this late? Oh, yeah. Woo! What the fuck? Who are you? Carve it into your soul, kid. I'm a Zami. The scary sparrow. Well, I'm a passing Takayaka lady. The dove collapses before the might of a Zami's magnificent kick. Oh my god. I'm, I don't know, doctor. I'm getting kind of smitten with this Zami right now. Sorry, Zami. I let my guard down. Easy for a kid to do. Laugh less. Always be prepared. Speak softly and drive a Sherman tank. Woo! She's so cool, I think I'm in love. Um, Asami, I'm working at a cafe near here over the summer. Could I treat you to something sometime, as thanks? Is that part of your credo, kid? Goodbye, me. Yeah, that's part of my credo, giving, like, re like repaying people, like, showing gratitude for what someone does for me. Asami takes the proffered flyer, mounts her trusty scooter, and puts off into the darkness. Put, put, put. A heroic entrance and a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. Oh, so we've got like, all of a sudden we've got like two romances going at once. I'm playing the field. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. I'm going to invite... Why isn't a Zami in the list? That's kind of weird. I suppose I got you. I'm going to invite the good doctor. What do you want? Wow, it's the doctor! Ah! Is that all? I'm going home. Sorry, I just hadn't thought you'd actually come. But I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided that even if it was a wincy, wincy, wincy tant, it was still worth trying. You invited me based on a chance like that? Fascination. I think I want to start primate etymology next. That aside, what do you want? You can examine me all you want. I wanted to go to the festival with you. A festival, forgive me, but I don't ascribe to idle superstition. I think 99.95% of the people there will just be there for fun, not religion. Very well, I shall accompany you. We're playing the field. What? We have to give him a la an, an alarm. An arm? Oh, but that pose problems to your active and youthful high school lifestyle. I shall accept a lock of your hair instead then. How romantic. Yup, he's a pervert. Yippee! I live for perverts. Seeing as I'm such a wanton girl, I'm a vitality girl. <laughs> I can stand it. Fireworks, how oh, marvelous. You mean even you like fireworks, sir? Naturally, such potential, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. 
I'm not sure I know what to, I'm not sure I want to know what he's talking about. It means he wants to it means he wishes he could finish with a big bang. That's what he's talking about. I enjoyed myself tonight. Thank you, Miss Color. And so he left, a satisfied expression on his face. Oh I guess he did finish with a big bang. I'm a little worried that he was trying to study me, but I'm glad he had fun. He can pin me anytime. Here we are, back in the cafe, and we've got this guy again. Time's so fast when I'm in here, see you all around, can you, Rabu? Oh, hey, Harry. Yeah? Rabu, fine. Rabu, what a stupid name. Finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. What? How weird. So young men from Osa so young men from Osaka can do it too. What? I don't understand half of what's going on here. It's just I'm just gonna roll with it. Cause I guess you gotta roll with the punches. Good day to you, Rabu. Nice another nice relaxing day at the cafe. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Harry? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tanjiro left? Of course, here you are. This is so, like, relaxing. It's it's actually re What is that picture? There's like a wizard after shooting a chick and a giant chicken. How bizarre. Hmm, Tanjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Hmm, by the way, Mr. Ushihara. Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. A budgery guard who works at night. There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. Like the kakapo. The kakapo. Like the New Zealand ground parrot. Rabu is known for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him from the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't I met another careful driver recently? Yeah, like Azami, the other bird. This is so weird, like having two romances going on at once. I just, I'm completely out of my depth here. The late sunset in summer makes it so easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. And seeing as apparently there are no, I don't have a watch or a calendar of my own, I don't have a clue. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Oh, it's the good doctor. Wait, isn't that the doctor? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case of loving you. Good evening, doctor. Sorry, doctor. Sorry, doctor. Uh, Sue, is this any hour for a high school student to be wandering around? Huh? There's mud on his wing. The middle of this city's nocturnal entertainment is to be admired. Perhaps you should go home. I'm going to... Um, I don't know, like, what should I do? Ask what he's doing? Say, like, oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, pup? What are you doing out here, sir? Nothing, nothing at all. I was on my way home and I happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? He was a... How, are you a dirty doctor? I had forgotten that primates retain their keen vision in the dark. Informative indeed. Thank you, Miss Cullen. Good night. Wait, you didn't answer my question. Throwing something away. Huh? Well, I suppose if we notice that Yuya isn't in school tomorrow, we know where to go. And so he hurried away into the night. What? This ring is bad, Doctor. <laughs> does does some does a doctor need to be spanked around here? Apparently, there's one more week until the end of August, but I'm actually going to stop the video right about here, and we'll continue and probably finish this patch in the in the next video because we've been going for like maybe we haven't been going for that long, I suppose. Yeah, we have about three quarters of an hour almost. So thanks a million for watching this part. I'll see you next time in Let's Play Hatful Boyfriend.